Hello everyone, I am Essen and uh, I normally teach UI and UX design on Udemy and Skillshare and few more other websites to more than like 25,000 students. And uh, if you are interested in uh, starting your career in UI design, you can have a look at my courses. The link is in the description. And today I am going to create a nice looking uh, clock in Adobe XD and uh, using only the tools available in Adobe XD. Okay, so uh, so let's get started. I am going to create just the dark theme and the light one uh, can uh, you, uh, is your assignment to create. I am going to also link the resources or the file link, or Dropbox link for this file uh, in the description. So if you want to download this file and see what I have done or what colors I have used, you can have a look at that file, okay? So links are all in the description below. Uh, and uh, so I think we should get started. Okay, now you can see we have two themes. One is dark one on the left, one is uh, on the right, uh, which is light one. I'm going to uh, show you the links to in the description for these files. Now I'm going to create a new file. Okay, so I am going to use this iPad control or command zero. And uh, now the first one is that we are going to create the base circle or the circle uh, which is uh, black, which is uh, taking up the whole background. And for that the size is going to be 525 by 525. So I am going to shift, hold my shift key. And let's see if it is goes to 525. So let's use this one. Lock the aspect ratio and 525. Okay, so I'm going to move it in the middle like that. And the fill color we are going to use is uh, 181, which is a darker shade of blue, 181C29. Okay, so this is the color, okay? Okay, now the magic is all hidden inside this border, okay? So I'm going to use a white border color and the size and the dashes for the border will be 15 is the border size, okay? And the dash is five and the gap is 113. So we are going uh, to use a lot of gap. Now you can see it is looking like a clock and you need to also count um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I think it is um, one more. Uh, they, these must be actually uh, 13, I guess. Uh, 12, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so these are 13. Okay, perfect. Uh, actually, uh, I think I missed some something in the counting. Okay, so uh, let's add some shadow. And we need a bit of darker shadow. So I'm going to increase its opacity. And also we need to increase its blur. Okay, so we need some shadow around this shape. And uh, this is going to be nine, we are going to move it down. This is Y position. And also the shadow color is different. We are going to use 1D2334. Okay, so this is shadow. It is also closer to this blue and uh, black. Okay, so it is uh, closer to the same blue color uh, like this background, okay? And it is going to be 30%. So 49 is too uh, hard. So you can see this is a little subtle, very light shadow around this background. So our base is ready. Let's create the inner circles and um, let's see, let's make, name this base. And now we are going to create another circle inside it. And the size of that circle is going to be 400 by 400. So we are going to use 400 over here and also 400 over here. Okay, let's align it in the middle like this okay now let's put some um, okay so uh, this one for this one we are going we are not going to use any fill we are only going to use this border 
and the border color is going to be uh, 484 D53 it is basically a shade of the same blue but a little bit grayish grayish blue more on this dull side and uh, the size is going to be 15 and the dash is going to be 66 and the gap is going to be 40 okay so uh, now you can see that this uh, this this inner uh, dashes they are not lining up with this one okay so for that we are going to rotate it to 3.5 degree like this and also for this one we are going to rotate it minus one so if you type minus one over here it is going to move to 359 degrees which is uh, one less from 360 degrees okay so we have uh, completed our inner circle and the outer circle let's put some text over here so i am going to press t and 12 over here uh, i am going to use this huge ui or whatever font you want but actually i use signica uh, in my original exercise signica negative actually this one okay so i'm going to move it around with my arrow keys and the color for this one is white similarly we are going to press alt option key replicate it and put it over here somewhere three and i'm going to skip this okay so uh, our inner circle and outer circle are complete also we have put the text over here uh, let's move to the next uh, portion where we are going to use some uh, middle this middle uh, circle in this middle in the middle also the uh, arms for our hour and minutes and the seconds okay okay now let's create the center for that i'm going to use a circle over here or lips uh, in the middle and the size will be 40 40 by 40 and uh, let's put it in the middle let's drag it like this so it's in the middle right now and for the fill we are going to use the same gray color uh, this one and for the border we are going to use this white color and the border size is going to be four something like that okay now we are left with these two um, our arms for that we are going to use rectangles and here we have one rectangle this is going to be our minute arm and for minute arm I have used 17 width and uh, 120 130 height okay and to make it rounded we are going to use these uh, rounded corners 12 for the radius and you can see our arm is almost complete let's move it away from this circle the middle let's replicate it alt uh, make it a little bit smaller 120 maybe or maybe less than 120 100 let's see if 100 works so let me see if i have something different okay so now we are going to rotate it 30 degree okay so we are going to go minus 30 degree or maybe more than that something like this okay so this looks great let's move it a bit more away from here I'll move it more closer to this one it's also I'm going to move it closer to this one okay so i think um okay so now we are going to apply some gradients on it i i think the size is a bit high so i'm going to reduce it um, to 125 let's move it closer to this one okay, so now this looks great also maybe we should try to reduce the size of this one too okay so this looks great let's put some line over here this is going to be our second 
seconds line press shift or just use it like that and uh, this is going to be the size 2 and if you want to put some shadow around it you can put some shadow around it just to make it a bit thicker and look uh, great from a distance okay now we are going to use the gradients and some shadow on these okay so the gradient I am going to use is um, one side of the gradient is going to be uh, a bit darker and dull and other other side of the gradient is going to be sharper okay so let's hide this one okay so uh, keep that in mind uh, it is going to be darker on the top and sharper or you can use whatever gradient you you want over here but right now we are going to use something like uh, 203e a two okay so this is one color and the second color is going to be two nine five a f f okay so this is very sharp color this is a bit dull and dark color okay so this is the trick over here and uh, also we are going to remove the border and uh, now adding the shadow and make sure the shadow is going to be uh, in this direction okay so we are going to move it down and a bit on the right. So for that we are going to use X position 3, Y position 3 and uh, the shadow is going to be 6 for the blur shadow and uh, also we are going to uh, increase the shadow to 56%. So now you can see, you can easily, this, this shadow is visible. This shadow is really visible because we have moved it a bit uh, on the right side and at the bottom, okay? Similarly, we are going to apply the same fill. Okay, so just add this over here and now select and click like that. Okay, now you can see we have uh, some problem over here because this color is not a gradient. I'm not sure why this gradient is not saved over here because before that I was able to, let's, let's add it over here the gradient I am adding it over here and I am going to apply it like that okay now uh, here you can see the gradient is uh, tilted and right now there is um, nothing over here which we can use to you know flip this gradient So here we have the fill uh, with the gradient let's add the shadow over here and this time the shadow is going to be over here and over here okay so we are going to use x uh, maybe 2 and uh, this is going to be 4 let's make this 4 and I'm going to make this shadow a bit harder 30% okay so this looks great let's zoom out and see how it looks okay so let's zoom in make it 100% okay so this is the full size of the clock okay so uh, one more thing is that I also added some shadow around this one okay so just a subtle shadow don't make it too much because we want to highlight these arms more than the shadow uh, more shadow on these arms and less shadow on this one okay also if you want to uh, you can uh, uh, just uh, remove this fill and you have empty this circle uh, empty circle white circle for the inner uh, circle of this uh, clock okay so this is another way you can do it like this so I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and uh, the light one is uh, going to be for your assignment you can create the light theme and uh, uh, if you have any questions you can ask and comment uh, below and uh, how I managed to create this clock uh, with a lot of experimentation actually and uh, I did a lot of experiments uh, with different values rotating uh, the circles and all that and creating these alignments okay so uh, if you have any questions any queries if you want to take my courses 
you can directly email me uh, you can follow me on twitter uh, on facebook uh, learn ux id is actually on my facebook page is my facebook page actually okay so all the links uh, of my courses are below if you are interested you can easily email me at asanidrisi@gmail.com you can see the email uh, on the on the screen so uh, see you soon in another and next tutorial uh, on adobe xd i am going to create some sliders animation or the buttons okay so see you soon in the next video